Hey everyone, Kai here, and today I'm coming to you with another book review. And this time, the book is called Call Baby by Morgan Jerkins. I was referred to this book from my Bookstagram fam. I saw it on the timeline. I thought the cover was absolutely stunning. I had no idea what this novel was about, but I'm like, the book looked beautiful visually. So hopefully the actual plot is as good as this beautiful cover. The title of the book says a lot, Call Baby. I learned and researched after reading this book and even during this book a lot about call. And call is basically when a baby is born in an amniotic sac. Uh, they call it call. Um, and those babies are believed to be special no matter what. Um, the, I believe the numbers are one in 80,000 babies are born in the call, right? But in African American folklore, uh, being born with the call, you were really special. You are seen to have psychic abilities and a sixth sense. Let's get into the book. I don't even know where to start. The book is centered around a family named the Melashawn family. And I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, but if I'm not, correct me. Uh, and the Melashawn family is made up of black women who have call. They have they were born with call and um, in the book, which does touch on and tap into magical realism. In the book, the characters that are born with call, they have special abilities. So anything can happen to you. So say someone burns you, someone throws you down the stairs, someone stabs you. I know, very graphic, but follow me. If you're born with call, you can be healed in seconds. Yes, you may feel the pain, but three seconds later, you're fine. You're completely fine. You're healed. It, you know, call has healing power. It is believed in this book to have these healing miraculous powers. So when you, again, when you are born with call, you are considered very special. So let's go into the plot. So the plot follows the Melishon family who sells call to clients. But what they are accused of is only selling call to white clients and not supporting um, the community that they are a part of. And this comes to a head when they had an opportunity to support a black woman who had dealt with several miscarriages and decided not to. And so now the whole community is looking at them with a side eye and um, they have to reckon with that decision for the rest of their lives and the book. So that is literally only the first 20 pages the book is about 340 pages long. Uh, so we learn about the that decision and how it impacted them throughout the book. The book basically takes us on a journey around what is motherhood? Like what constitutes that? There, the many forms of motherhood, um, you know, dealing with loss, dealing with um, adoption, dealing with, um, you know, biological children and, and the things that mothers do to sacrifice, to serve and protect their children. Would I say this book is a must read? Absolutely. Is it a page turner from beginning to the end? No, it takes, it builds up. Here's my, here's the thing about this book. 
it is so well done in terms of character development it fleshes out every character to a t it humanizes its characters so well so morgan you did a great job with that i felt though all of that build up i did feel the ending was rushed i did feel the ending could have been fleshed out a little more i did feel even though this book is 340 pages it could have had an additional 100 pages to flesh out where these characters are going but it felt a, li a little rushed and I wanted more from the ending. Again, I think it's a great book. I actually want to see this book as a series. I'm saying it. I want this book to be a short series or a movie. I want to visually see this produced. But yeah, this book was really good. I enjoyed it. It made me think. It made me research. It made me really tap into um, learning more about the call and what that means. So that's all I have. I want to know from you, have you read this book? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, 